Hello and welcome to The Bachelor the morning after. I cannot believe we're here. But Dean, Becca, first off, we want to say we love you, Ashley I. She'll be joining us next week. Ooh. Cool, just okay. Knowing you as a chubby, awkward kid, I think it explains some stuff. <laughs> what? Yeah, sure. What? I mean, explains what? He wasn't chubby and awkward until uh, he was chubby and awkward until like 13. Someone said something like that explains the virginity. I'm like, no. You got a fair point. I was chubby and awkward until I was 15 or 16. You yeah. Know? I had the worst. Yeah. When I was 12, I looked terrible. If they showed photos of me up there, I mean, God. Yeah, I kind of needed more photos. I'm like, I need more chubby photos. Um, but yeah, okay. So then he gets the confidence when he starts getting really good at, at football. Which is like at so, 14 or 15. So. You want to know what's weird? I, and this is probably totally off topic and maybe not even worth diving into, but I had one of my best I'm friends in high it. school. <laughs> One of my best friends in high school was like this 6'8 Samoan kid who was a terror on the football field. Like he was an insane football player and he was a virgin as well until he was like 24. Interesting. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but there's a parallel there somewhere. Okay. Yeah? No, there, there is a parallel. Um, I, am, I am torn though because I do, I have sided with you for most of the time. Like, come on, dude. Like you weren't going to parties. You weren't talking to girls. Like, okay. This College. Is, this I'm, sure, is... I'm sure he's not a mouth virgin, right? Is that a, can I say that on air? I don't know. He might be. Yeah. It's digital. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Has um, Colton got blood? Is there Can penetration through genitalia? <laughs> is that the definition? Right. We might have to cut this off. Like, he, like a vagina virgin, but you can still do butt stuff and mouth stuff. And... <laughs> okay, here's anyway. my thing. No, here's what I want to say about this real quick about the virginity thing that I think is weird. So, you know, Sean was a born again virgin, you know. But here's the whole reason, and most people that I know who are virgins, they have some religious or moral reason behind it. And even then, it's really freaking hard for them to stay a virgin. Like, it's a conscious effort to be like, I gotta have self-control and, like, I mean, not do this. I happens, too. Like, huh. Sure, and even, like, he was in an eight or nine month relationship with like Allie and that's just weird to me after like eight or I don't know I'm just not getting right. it because he said that it's not for any particular reason so I'm like I don't know I just don't get I didn't it. realize I don't Allie was that long so Allie Reis Raisman I didn't realize it was that long so you did like got, middle school relationships uh, that were nine months long and you like kiss at the end of it yeah right. I don't know I feel <laughs> like we gotta get into off camera because I, you're bringing up a real so I'm just I'm I'm thinking like I'm not I, everyone's been like oh he's gay I'm like well maybe he's just like asexual yeah at the end of the day whoever Colton chooses has to be very patient right because it's like I'm sure once they start having sex it's gonna be pretty bad <laughs> Like, let's just be honest. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, gotta you, gotta you get that out of the way normally when you're like 16. Right. right. I've, been, I've been having sex for 12 years and it's still pretty bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learning curve. It is. But you know what I kind of hate is that, so the show creator, Mike Fleiss, is like, we chose Colton because, you know, for many reasons, but there's the stakes, the stakes of him losing his virginity. Really, is Colton going to lose his virginity on air? Hey, we're on gonna AC, put a bed on the-, on the Well, you know he will. Absolutely he will. <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind he loses his virginity in the fantasy suites. No doubt, zero doubt. Th that's how much. Really? Yeah, of course. What? Are you kidding? Talk about, like, I, I don't know, all right. Maybe. You're coming at this from a non-virgin perspective. I just... I feel like there's so much he's pressure. waited 26 okay, years. Okay, this is my thing. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm not, like, trying to shade him. Just any person who has that much pressure built up for the season, for life, I don't even know if he'd be able to get it up in the fantasy it's suites. True. I'm serious. Like, not him particularly. Like, anyone who has that much, like, That happened to me, pressure, I'll be honest. I mean, performance yeah. anxiety. I'm not joking. I mean, seriously. After two weeks of Winter Games, I went to the Fantasy Suite, and I was just like, there's so much pressure to be in here right now. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm, that's, so that's my point. It's like, he's got to prove something, not only to, like, the public, but also whatever Girl. girl he's in the, like, that's a lot. It is. So that's why I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Do you I mean? think he's going to do it. There's no question in my okay, mind. Okay, wow. Because, like... Soft penetration. In, if you look... <laughs> That's like docking. He's just going to put it in there and soak it for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, if, you look at his, if you look at his timeline, right? Like, he's been building up to this moment to be yeah. the bachelor. Yeah. And so he's going to be, like, fully invested. And he's like, this is the, the, the peak of my life, in a sense, right? And so he's like, for that reason, he's the like... The climax, if you the yes. cli 
<laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but thank you for getting us there. Pressure. To... Not, not the pressure thing, but he's like, this is like, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Okay. Okay. I, okay. okay. His I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but. Yeah. I mean, I'm all. He doesn't America care. He's been talking about his sex life for the past year. I'm trying but to play the bad cop. Okay. We'll lack up. So we haven't even yeah. like really talked about last night's episode. Um, the girls. So do you guys um, have any standout limo entrances? I thought they were pretty. Um, the sloth was funny. The sloth. Yeah. I, I I liked it. Brie, I, I, I liked it. <laughs> have we talked about Brie on area? I liked Brie's accent a lot. The Australian. Yeah, we did talk about. We this. did. Talk. Yep. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if that was on or off. Well, she's one of the cuter girls too, for sure. Wait. Um, have any like girls started messaging you on? Oh, they've all DM'd me already. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jesus. <laughs> um, no, if no, none of them. Well, have Hannah me. G followed me already, and I was like, Shut follow up. back. Y'all yeah, girl. I'll like sometimes creep and see if someone like I've had like two of them are following me, but they've all never right. messaged me. You know. Yeah. I actually am quite surprised. I thought they would be like really thirsty. Not for me. I think <laughs> I think everyone's pretty well aware. <laughs> Away from me in Bachelor World, <laughs> which is fine. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. That's why your podcast is called Help I Suck at Dating. Maybe I should yeah. just start having them as guests. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, <laughs> you're so... that creepy Bachelor yeah. alumni. You want to come on my podcast? So, uh... Help me, I suck at dating. Yeah. So, yeah. By the way, what are you doing after? <laughs> Lock girl. Um, uh, yeah, I live in a van. And then. <laughs> So, a little foreshadowing, um, Miss Alabama Hannah, Miss uh, North Carolina Kaylin. Dude, the pageant girls. I'm just like, I don't trust pageant girls. Right. And Trisha loves Miss Alabama, so let's I choose our words carefully here. I know. I, what? I want her as the bachelorette. Oh, God. No way. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would be brutal. We've seen so many versions of this girl throughout the years. Yeah. That's I a mean, good those point. those dimples, though. She's very like, cookie holy cutter. Crash. Like, she like lives like this. She just okay. love her. Thanks. I just oh, love her. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Miss North Carolina, I'm like, really? You're gonna come out with a sash like that? All right, we get it. You're Miss North Carolina. Why would it be Miss Underwood? Wouldn't it be Mrs. Underwood? Yes, it would. Oh. So she's like his sister. Wow, Dean, you really thought this through. I think yeah, Paco. Like, she's related to him. <laughs> I think Paco made a meme or something like that. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. yeah well. Yeah. I don't know. The whole, I went on her Instagram then, and then her literally her bio is just Miss North Carolina. I'm like, okay, girl, we get it. I we'll get it. You're good at pageants. But they that quiz, uh, kiss was fast um, between Kaylin. I and think Colton. there was something between them. There definitely was. was this, I saw a spark. Re, I saw a huge spark with Hannah G. Obviously, first impression. Oh, I did. Their kissing was like I was like, oh. How is Colton as a no. kisser from a woman's perspective? I think hot or not? I actually. Didn't know. Oh. There's only three kisses, which is pretty. I, I, I watched him with Tia and Becca, and I'm, I'm again, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be rude. It's just like, I would think as a virgin, I don't know. When I was trying to remain a virgin, I did a lot of making out, yeah. a lot more than now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you spend hours making out, and nice. so I expected him to be, but maybe again pressure. I don't know. I, I'm gonna go look back. I'll have to go back and look too. Did, did you just when you see that little like tongue slip immediately, like right when he starts kissing the girls, there's always just a little like tongue slip, and I'm like, oh god, no. Yeah, he does a lot of it's like like a like a drop in water. He does a lot of those like, yeah. You know? I don't oh. like that. I don't like those. No, I gotta rewatch. So yeah, so we kiss Kaylin, then um, Katie, Katie, the dancer, because I guess talking about independent women got him really hot and bothered. And he seems really comfortable around her. I noticed that yeah. he had the most personality around Katie. So I'm good. And then. Um, Hannah G when she got the first impression yeah. rose. So someone was saying Hannah G looks like Reese Witherspoon and yeah. Jump and a Ramsey. Oh my God! Yes, I don't know who that is. <laughs> she's the little girl that got Colorado, murdered. Colorado, dude. Yeah, like Boulder, the little girl that got murdered in Boulder in like ninety eight. I don't know. I don't know everyone that got murdered okay. in Colorado between she's like the past the most twenty six years. <laughs> okay, so the little pageant girl. Anywho, you'd know. You'd, okay. Okay. So let's talk about the super tease, which was the season teaser at the end. Just starts out with like a full one minute of making out and kissing. Oh yeah, so we I did. have to tell you guys about this. Didn't we? On Access Live? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, we didn't show you the making out part. Oh yeah, that's right. I will tell you guys. Okay, so Access Live, we had them on this morning. Um, so there was one full minute of him just making out with girls. I'm surprised he made out with three girls the first night, to be honest. Honestly? Yeah. I thought he would have just picked one and stuck with that. Because I feel like that's what the bachelorettes do, is like they'll maybe make out with one person, right? I don't 
I mean, first night is like, that's pretty, that's strong. That's yeah. like, a, how many, that's a thing. Did you kiss Ari on night one? No. How many? Night two? Because Ari the was the day. kissing bandit. Right. So how many, do you remember? I, think. I don't know, but night one is just so, there's so many nerves. Like, I feel like adrenaline is so high. Yeah. I remember sitting there and being like, are we supposed to kiss? And I was like, no, this is not, this is, it was Awkward. just, yeah. I don't always kiss on the first date. <laughs> So you're a classy girl, Trisha. I am. <laughs> um, okay, so a lot of girls making out. I feel like you guys have to watch after, but um, this did not happen with Nick, Ben, Ari. Like these girls are, are you super into him. Me? Ari's Ari. All he was doing through our whole season was making out. No, I know, but it wasn't hot and steamy. Um, he is a, amazing. He he's actually the best kisser I've I've literally ever kissed. I will say that. Seriously, he's like an amazing kisser. Okay, my favorite gift. The kissing bandit is like a real thing. And gift from last season was him kissing you through your hoop ear. No, oh, yeah. In the hot tub. I really like that. Oh, you thought it was cute. What? Scary. Like yeah, scary is what I went for. Yeah, when I saw it too, I was like, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> is that smooth? All that takes is like a, a jerky movement of mm. being, me being like, wait, and then it, my ear gone. Yeah, that's true. It's too soon. Well, okay, too I'm interested <laughs> then in the comment section if you guys thought the making out, you know, in the bathing suits, the on beds was more steamy than past seasons. beds? Oh, yeah. I wonder if they're oh, gonna... Yeah. Uh, there was the popping of the champagne, there were fireworks, there, it was, they were trying for the sex. Popping. You remember, <laughs> you obviously remember Ben Higgins' season. Yes. Do you remember when he was with JoJo in the grotto? Like when it was like two or three girls left, I give Ben crap for this all the time oh, because it's. Oh, said I love you. No, so make fun of him for it all the time. He got a huge <laughs> erection when he was making out with JoJo in the grotto, and they didn't black box it. What? Yeah, and, and, and I get like he pulls it up on Google at least once a time, like every time we hang out because it's hilarious. And I'm just curious, like if that's gonna happen to Colton, is he just gonna get like a full on, like full I'm mask? Sure it happens to everyone. I hope so. But like, is he more they prone to cut it? it? Is my point, I guess. Oh, this is like science. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's like how many... I, I am curious about this. Like, we know he's a virgin, but like you said, there's so much outside of that. Right. Of being a virgin. So, like, what's his experience like surrounding mm. right. just penetration? It's like, that's just, you know... Yeah. We've been asking. Well, I don't mean like that. I'm just curious, like, how many women has he made out with? Like, is that a regular thing for him? Like, so, okay. I'm for curious about his, like, dating life and, like, sex life. I mean... You can still have a sex life even if you're not technically having sex. You know what I mean? You know. I don't know what you mean, but I yeah. <laughs> it can be sensual, you know, sexuality. No, um, I mean, like he becomes more vulnerable. Chris Harrison says, and then also there's this big fence jump. So a lot of stuff is gonna go down this I season. I feel like there's such a build up for that fence jump. Yeah. I feel like it's nothing. It all, that's always the case with the super tees. Yeah. <laughs> like the like gate was locked tees. or something, he had to go around to the other side just to open it up for the rest of the people to come in. Or he was like trying to surprise a girl on the other side, you know? <laughs> but then they're like, it looks like they're like going through a dark desert and they can't find Colton, him. Colton! <laughs> Get off the mountain peak, it's cold up there. <laughs> Hills have eyes. <laughs> he, he is like super, he cries a lot. And as a viewer, I think that's what we want, right? Like, it's good to see that he's going to be, like, super emotional the whole time. Do women want that, Becca? To well, a certain degree. Maybe not, a, like, a, as a potential partner, maybe not so much. But as a viewer, I'm saying, like... You want vulnerability, I think. So you want somebody that can be open in that way. Um, I don't want, I mean, I don't want somebody to be crying all the time. You know, yeah. I, that's my that's job. Your, I, was gonna say this <laughs> I cry all the time. Yeah, no, Need somebody I... to hold it down. I think um, they definitely got my interest when he was crying and being vulnerable and... Um, so the other, like his heart was broken or something like that, right? Yeah, but then I've, it's like... I've, what do you say? I've, I'm unlovable. No, no, no. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. That's Every bad. time I put myself out there, I get rejected. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it on TV. That's not yeah, true. That's not yes, true. But I, no, he, he said I've given it all up. That's what he said. He said I've given it. I've given up everything. Oh right, this. everything. Like, what have you? What have you given <laughs> yeah. up? It feels like you've only gained things from yeah. this. Maybe working out as much as he works out. His dogs. Yeah. He gave up seeing his dog. True. That's pretty. That's tough. Um. Okay. <laughs> so then. Um, Okay, yeah, pretty funny. Do you, I mean, what do you guys overall think? We kind of went through the recap. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other notable women. I know, do you want to look through any of these photos? So there's- She already had a Twitter scandal. Did you hear yeah, about that? Yeah, Tracy. 
tweets from 2010 that were kind of like xenophobic. She mm. said, she said, um, stop wasting your money on liposuction and get your fat ass to the gym, which mm. I, I laughed about, honestly. <laughs> no, there were other inappropriate ones. She but... said, um, stop making up fake medical reasons for nose jobs. We know you just want to fix your bumpy beak. <laughs> That also made me laugh. I mean, <laughs> yeah, those are bad, but there's been much worse for sure. Yeah, was it? Garrett. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, I thought you meant Lee Garrett for my season. That's what I was, oh, that's what I was thinking Dude, of. Dude, what about that happened to that guy? I have no idea. It's a great question. He's just still in his KKK <laughs> group <laughs> in Alabama. Somewhere. Um, Taisha? Taisha, cute. Or Taishia, I don't know how the spelling is. Taisha. Taisha, is that how you say it? Do we think that this? Do we think this group of girls is cuter than your group of girls? No, no? I don't think so. Do you think so? I don't know enough of these ones well enough. I, I but you guys were pretty cute. I thought we were young. cute. Are they? Like I thought I was they watching. Look sorority Who's the oldest? Recruiting. Do you think? It's it's is, uh, a, a, a Twitter girl. Oh, I thought Twitter she's girl, thirty-one. Tracy, mm. and then um, Colton's what twenty-seven. Elise, Alaskan girl, who said I just can't accept his proposal. Oh. oh, yeah, in the super tease. Mm -hmm. Did he propose to her? Though? No, I bet you that's like week three or something. And she's like, oh, right now I wouldn't be able to accept the proposal. It's like, well, no, <laughs> I'm not going to propose to you right now, though. <laughs> okay, so there's Sydney. Uh, don't, yeah, this girl. This girl confronted oh, Catherine on night. I was like, really? You're going to confront her on night one? Stop trying to be like the badass. Who... Yeah. No, night... she wanted airtime. Night one is definitely like getting drunk and like bragging about yourself enough to the other people there to like establish yourself, you Intimidate know? Intimidate them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but don't confront anyone. Like don't start anything. No, she, she literally sat her down and was like, so you've been spending a lot of time with him. I'm like, really? We're doing this right yeah. now? Yeah. Yep, we're already doing it. Who's she? Uh, Nicole from Miami. She has the autistic brother. Oh, you didn't. No, I, I remember that part. Yeah. She, Dangerous. she's from Miami. She's cute. She does not into the, the hookup culture in Miami. So she's, uh, that's what she said. I remember. Not into like the that. hookup culture. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, he's a hiccup. Hiccup. <laughs> well, she did the that. Spanish. She did her Spanish pickup line out, and that's exactly what Bibiana did, who's at, oh, also from Miami. He loved Bibiana. So I was like, mm, Bibiana did it best. Bibiana for Bachelorette. Don't know who she is. Kerpa, dental hygienist. Kerpa, cool name. Who's gonna be the Bachelorette out of this group? Well, Pro you guys don't Hannah like Jean? my choice. You like the Miss Alabama girl. Um, I want Brie to do yeah. it, and I want her to do her fake Australian accent the entire season. Okay, this is basically... That's, that's my vote. Are you going to go on her season? I would never. I would never. Oh, wait. Who's winning? Uh, well, I, Hannah G seems to be the most well-rounded, right? When I say well-rounded, she yeah. seems to be the most beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> She's obviously the cutest. <laughs> Hannah G or Kaylin, I say. Okay. Who's she? Uh, Cassie. Katie, he kissed her. Oh, he kissed her. Yeah. Cassie, I think, was the one that... The sign language. Right. So really he cute. seemed to have the most connection with her. He had a spark in his eye. Yes, big spark in his eye. Twinkle. This one. No, not this one. This one has no, never been kissed. That one. That was her occupation. Which I don't believe that either. Yeah, I She's believe She's like a it. beautiful girl. No, I knew this girl in high school Bible study. For sure she's never been kissed. Really? For sure. You can see it in her eyes. Look it. She's never been kissed. I believe it. Hannah's G. That's your girl. She's about to have like 800,000 Instagram followers. Yeah. She's going to make ready. so much money. <laughs> It's gonna be Wait, great. Wait, on what tea? No. What? Well, will she Fit sell? Tea? No, I think her big thing is going to be. Clothes. No, that's not. Probably like those face brushes or something. Oh, the ivory jade, rollers. jade rollers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's like, yeah, I've sold a few of those. <laughs> I mean, honestly, she sugar bear hair, but I think that's a little too corny for her. Yeah, what happened to sugar bear hair? They... She's cute. Yeah, she is. Does she win? Do we know? We know spoilers? Um, if I DM her, is it going to be weird? I think that she could be I the next Bachelorette. I'm not going to DM her, Trisha. Get out of here. I think she could be the next Bachelorette. Yeah, DM she lives in Huntington Beach, I think. No. Oh, great. She's Alabama. That's still a long distance. This girl? No, we're not talking about Brie. We, neither of us care about Brie. No, no. I care about Brie. These two. Her? Hannah oh, no. and Hannah are from <laughs> Alabama. Oh. But no, dude, she's from Huntington. She's LA. You can't influence. Girl. Okay. You can't influence from Alabama. She moved to LA, but Cassie <laughs> is from Huntington Beach. Okay, this girl's from somewhere in Southern California. SoCal, yeah. Def all look right. at her. She's got well, Orange maybe, County written yeah. all over okay. her. This is your girl. Yes. Free? We've already talked about her. That no, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah's out. Hannah's getting dumb next week. This girl. She's so mean. <laughs> yes, I love her. Okay. Yeah. She seems like a Tia knockoff. She's, uh, way, more, like she's way more bubbly than Tia. I don't know, she's doing these whole like faces yeah, and yeah. stuff and like... Hot Mess Express. She just seemed like she was trying so hard to be like quirky and interesting. 
the, the faces with the picture. I was like, come on, you're trying way too hard. Yeah, agreed. No, but you, that's true. That's what turned me off. You're just eating it up. Okay, so this is, oh, McNutt. Oh, McNutt. Yeah, she gave him a bag of nuts and said her last name was McNutt. Hmm. She really kept talking about it. It was kind of funny. Yeah. Erica McNutt. She should have done some pun about nutting. I was going to say, like, do you want a nut? It's a setup, yeah. I'll give you a oh, nut. That's, do you want, that's <laughs> so good. Do you want a nut? <laughs> sure, but like. All right, whatever. Maybe she did it and they didn't air it or something like that, yeah. This Which, girl? Yeah. She oh, reminds me of Will and Grace. Deborah Messing. Yeah. I think yeah, she's a little older, probably too mature for this this group. Mm -hmm. but like her red hair. Yeah. She's oh, pretty. Oh, here we go. No, this is the one I think is going to be the villain. Why? Yeah. Demi. Why did you say here we go? This is a yellow dress girl. Yeah. She is the she's one. She's cute. She talks like she's like, "Hey, like, oh my god, hey babe." Like crystally. Hey babe. No, it's just like, "Oh, girly, how are you?" Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So she, I call her the country bumpkin, and Reality Steve says um, she works bumpkin. at Pottery Barn, but her Chiron says interior decorator. I love <laughs> no <that>. way. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I love, I love the Bachelor production. Like they're the best. She the works best. At Pottery Barn. But she go, oh, I love that. Wow. She's cute though. She Georgia Peach. Mm. So oh, she, she was so awkward. She went in there. If you want. To know more about my peach, or what did she say? I feel like everyone's kind of awkward. Well, were you awkward? What did you do? I came out of the classic car. And oh, I said, that's right. I appreciate. I may be young, but I can still appreciate something classic. And then you guys like made out on it after. No, that you didn't make out first night. No, I didn't. I was trying to be classy. Yeah. Second okay. night. What's night the car? two. Next one. Second night two. I wait till the second time I saw him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Catherine. And then third date. Then you go all the way. Um. Catherine, Stif I'm Stifler's mom. obsessed. Yeah. I'm obs. Look at her cheetah belt. Oh, oh not she is bringing like bringing cheetah into the photos. She. That's bold. She. She is a bold choice. Bold choice too for your promo photo. A green lace. I know. Bold. I was looking for it the other day because I wanted to do a photo in it now, <laughs> but couldn't find it. Um, no, she's like classic evil stepmom. Yeah, you that's one hundred percent what you get. I like it. And I wish Lucy the dog stays throughout the season. The little Pomeranian. What's Lindsay Lohan's stepmom's name in Parent Trap? Exactly. No. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Miranda. No. No. Gwyneth Blake. Gwen. Gwen. Uh, Meredith. Blake. Meredith Blake. Yeah. Meredith Blake. You're, exactly. Wow. Evil stepmom. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm going to ship you off to boarding school the minute <laughs> I say I do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> so the girl, so the one girl confronted her and she's like, the girl's like, I think we had a good talk. And then she turns around and is like, I'm going to go interrupt Colton again. And then for the fourth time. Well, so everyone thinks that she's going to be the villain, but you don't. No. Okay. She's not in Too the predictable. either. Yeah, she's, maybe she go home but last goes home year, next Chelsea week. Chelsea was going to be the villain. By interrupting Chelsea Christ. was so weird on the first night. She was like, oh. we thought she was a plant. We thought she was an actor. Why? Because she was like, she was like, I don't know, but all I know is that I'm here to find a father for my child. And it was like just really weird. Too like too much. Yeah, and then she yeah. just like was normal after the first night. Really weird. I don't Perfect. think that's gonna be her case, but yeah. I still don't think she's. I remember. Gonna be do you guys remember Alex from my season? He he thought yes. I was a plant for a long time. <laughs> he thought you were. A yeah. Because I remember I walked up to Chris Harrison like the second time oh, I wait, saw Alex, him. Alex uh, Bordy. Alex Bordy. No, no, Alex so, Bordy, the Russian. He oh, is yeah. so paranoid in general. Yeah, he super is. Super conspiracist. <laughs> yeah. That's a word. Definitely. But yeah, he thought I was a plant. We were almost done. Yeah, we Cassie. are. Speech pathologist. I was like, oh, she can um, treat Colton's list. She was cool cute. Buddy. Yeah, that's funny. I kind of thought that too. Because he doesn't. He has one sometimes, and others times. No, he, the I think I S's. think he got. Um, I think he got work. Like gone classes. This yeah. Because he changed. He, he definitely got. Well, if he's going to be a sports analyst, like you say, that's what right. he's pining for. He's got to. Oh God! I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> I'm sure. He, well. He wants, seems to watch everything about him. <laughs> Here, just like Nick. Um, <laughs> so self-obsessed, both of them. If, if you were Bachelorette, Trisha, would you watch these? These, or would you watch every little, like I piece of content? Time. Yeah. I well, already, I already have a job. Know like, what else do you have to do? I guess. I, I stopped I a few months ago. I'm like, I don't need to ruin my own day about. Yeah. And really, what strangers? Yeah. Well, yeah. We're not strangers anymore. Um, but... Her, Cassie. Yeah. I like her. Cool, chill, See, whatever. I remember thinking I liked her a lot when I saw her little intro thing, but I don't remember anything specific about it. I remember he seemed to like her. Hmm. Just that typical California girl. Yeah. Caitlin? Don't know. Don't care. Who is she? Um, Miss North Carolina. 
I don't like her. Miss Underwood. Two pageant -y queen. Two pageant -y queen. And the thing with those types of people, too, is it's like, am I getting the real you or am I getting the pageant, pageant. you? Well, and she obviously knows how to do the pageant thing well. Because she, she won. won. Didn't she win twice or something? I think she got, like, Miss Runner-Up USA. Like, she, she's, she she's good at what she does, for oh, sure. Yeah. And so, um, she looks like somebody, but I don't know who. Hmm. Okay, and then, right. oh, we already talked about Brie. Brie, I've, I've got a crush on Brie, I think. Yeah, the more I see her, up. the more I'm like, wow, you're really pretty. You haven't There's stopped talking video. about her. I'm not going to either. <laughs> <laughs> See, you said you knocked her down for being a model, but I feel like she's like a top shop or like Billabong or something like that. <laughs> so I think she's like a real one, not like months. an Instagram model. Oh, I see what you're saying. And say. then that sloppy girl. She's cute, but she's she was so crazy when she started cute. talking. I liked her commitment. <laughs> yeah, her commitment like her, was pretty good. <laughs> I like her freckles. She's got cute little freckles like on her shoulders. <laughs> um, that's All about right. it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, on that note, <laughs> Um, we do have to end this and we have to um, say, Ashley, I, we miss you. So thank y'all. We'll be back Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>